<laughs> hello my wonderful people god bless you all happy christmas and happy new year in advance in jesus name amen thank you all my family my friend my fans god bless you all a quick one please i'm here to beg some of you some people that always like to exaggerate in many areas of their lives this is for you or people that always want wanting or wanting or want one or two things in life that they don't want to give it out this is for you my number one goes like this you that want people to honor you <laughs> you want people to honor you you so much want people to honor you to respect you i beg you madam oga mommy daddy uncle we are about to enter new year please learn how to respect other people learn how to honor people I beg you, so that people will also give it to you back. If you know you don't know how to respect people, you don't know how to honor people, I beg you, don't expect people to give it to you because you don't know how to give it to people. Then, another set of people, you people, some of you want people to be praising you, want people to put you in their head. Hey, I beg you, sister. Learn how to praise people. You that love appreciation. Learn how to appreciate people. Learn how to maybe, eh, 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 praise other people. Not only people go, they praise you, praise you, praise you. You don't know how to praise people. You don't know how to appreciate people. You want people to appreciate you. See, there are some people, they will just give you this battle. They want you to they want you to be appreciated them for the rest of their rest of your life. They want you to appreciate them. Whereas you are be giving them even what billions of this battle that he just managed to give you once. You are be giving them a lot, a lot. You are be giving them. But they have never appreciated you one day. Just because he managed to give this battle, he will want you to appreciate him. Brothers and sisters, you are a joker. Learn how to appreciate people that have been giving you. That have been giving you, giving you, giving you before you manage to give Bible. Please, learn how to appreciate people so that people will also learn how to appreciate you. Appreciation is very, very important. Whether that person give you Bible, give you billions. Learn how to appreciate people so that people will appreciate you. Another set of people <laughs> that think that their eyes do open. These are the people that don't know how to tolerate people like them. And people will be tolerating them. Day and night, you will be tolerating some people. You will tolerate and tolerate. But they don't know how to tolerate people. I want to beg you, my people. Some of you are there. If people are be tolerating you, you think that they are fools. When it comes to your stomach, Please, I beg you, don't forget this. Learn how to tolerate people also. The people that is tolerating you, they are human beings. Like you. Don't play a fast one and say, you don't feel tolerated. You go come and find one, one excuse to give. Instead of you to tolerate that person, learn how to tolerate people so that people will also learn how to tolerate you. I'm begging you because we are about to start New Year. New Year, when you enter New Year, you rewrite some error that is in your life. You sit down, you think about your life and start putting things in order. It's not late. As far as you are still living, you are alive. It's not late to correct your error. It's not late at all. That is why I bring this advice out. Correct yourself. I beg you. Correct yourself properly. This 2024. So that when you want to correct other people, you will not have problem in correcting them. Don't correct people when you don't correct people when error is full of you use error to so agbada. You never feel correct yourself. You won't go to correct people. No, that is why you must sit in the mirror. Correct some error in your life. The error that you make 2023. Don't take that error again to 2024. Recorrect it. And sit down properly and do the right thing. Let's go to the book of Matthew 7, 
12 and hear what he said about all this exaggeration. He said, so in everything, do to others <laughs> what you would have them do to you. For this sake, for this sum up the law and the prophets. That is it. Do what you want them to do to you. Do it to others. If you want people to respect you, respect others. If you want people to appreciate you, appreciate other people. Especially you that call yourself a Christ followers. A Christians. Lovers of God. A believer. If you want people to appreciate you, appreciate people. Appreciate people in your life. So that people will also appreciate you. If you want people to love you, so love, give love out. Know how to love people so that people will love you. If you want people to care for you, start learning how to care for people so that you will receive it back in a billion form. So that people will also care for you. You can't be, you can't be seeking for what you don't know how to give. You can't be asking for what you don't know how to give out. If you want people to value you, brothers and sisters, value other people. Value other people so that people will also value you. You can't sit down and sit down in your pile of there, rubbing your chest. People don't care about these days. People don't value anybody. Do you value people? Did you value people? Did you respect people? Did you love people? Do you care about people? Uh -uh. Where will you be expecting it from people? You said that I don't give a damn. People don't also give a day about you, brothers and sisters. People don't give a day about you. I'm begging you. Learn how to give it out. Let's go to the same Matthew chapter 7, verse 18. And hear what he also said. The contribution of this chapter, verse 18. Let's see. He said, a good tree cannot bear bad fruit. <laughs> a and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Baka, you don't know how to sow love. You don't know how to give love. Huh? Eh? Wow, que bravo, que brava. You want people to give you love. <laughs> you want people to love you by all means. When you love, you don't know how to love people. Love is not written in your heart. You want people to love you. It doesn't work that way. 24-7. January to December. You don't know how to appreciate good people in your life. You want, you want people to they appreciate you, eh? Because now you're right now. You get seven head. When you don't know how to appreciate people that God put in your life, that is there for you, that always give you good advice in life, you don't know how to appreciate them. And you want them to appreciate you. <laughs> what a war. <laughs> wala, wala, wala. According to portable. You don't go walk. Brothers and sisters, we are going to New Year. Learn how to, to give good things out. Even if they beat you along the road, don't worry. God that sees everything done in a secret place and an open place. He will reward you. That is it. But it's good for human beings to appreciate human beings. He gives courage to others. He gives courage to one another. You don't know how to encourage anybody. When your situation will blank, you want people to come and sit down with you and be encouraging you. Oh, oh. Whereas you don't know how to encourage anybody. Uh -uh. You are full of error. You never finish to correct, correct yourself. You, the pop knows, you want to the correct other people. Who does that? Correct yourself first. Before you start correcting people. You see, you, 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 you attend to your own people. Like say you don't care. Okay, you don't want them to attend to you the same way. If you act to your people that you don't care, they will also act to you that they don't care. If you know how to say hello to people where you know, where you're supposed to greet properly, or people where you're supposed to greet well, with respect, and you sit there, you say hi, okay. <laughs> okay, you want to make the girl see you. Make the girl say, hey, good morning, man. Good morning, sister. Good morning, brother. Good morning, pastor. Good morning, uncle. Good morning, daddy. After you don't do the hey, okay. Then they're stupid. Where they go come the ballet for you. 
Simple. This, they will also answer you, hey, it's what you sow, that is what you reap. If you know how to show love to people, people will definitely show love to you. They know the grace now. Nah? Love conquer everything in this life. Love conquer it. Somebody, they show you love. They show you love. You want because of you, you will enter fire. Or if the name is showing you love. How do you want the person to show you love? And when it comes to you, you don't know how to show love. Ah, uh ah, -uh, what do you expect that person to do? He need to run from you because you don't know how to show love also. You, you, if, if the person didn't give it to you, you will be crying. He doesn't care about me again. Do you care about that person that will be showing you love? Do you care? Do you appreciate him? Do you respect him? I beg you all. That is what this Bible verse is telling us. Do to others what you want them to do to you. If you don't have good character, why will you expect people to, to be good to you? That is what this verse 18 is telling us. Because you are bad, good things you not know, they come out from you. Then you want good things. Yeah, we're joking here. <laughs> Don't let us deceive ourselves. You can't get it. Since your tree is dry, it cannot bear fruit. How do you want other to bear fruit for you? It can't work. It can't work. You need to come out. You need to be a lover of good things. Don't be a lover of evil. You need to be a lover of good things. That is what the Lord advises us to be. If you are bad, I can't love you. If your character is smelly, I can't love you. If you don't know how to respect, I can't love you. If you don't know how to tolerate me, I can't love you. You tolerate me, I will tolerate you. And your sharpness, and you. You love me, I will give you love back. You will see it in a million ways. You love your people, people will love you. You tolerate them, people will tolerate you. You respect them, people will respect you. You don't respect me. You, so you are expecting me to respect you. <laughs> or especially you that I'll be respecting, respecting, respecting. Your head don't want to balance back. <laughs> to learn how to respect. Ah, okay. Now me good to respect. Why are you good to, to disrespect? No, nah, no, nah. We need to put a hand to this. I beg you, brothers and sisters, you need to stop that bad character in you. Because this is what the Bible verse is telling us. Do to others in what you want them to do to you in return. What are you doing to people? What are you doing to your family? Your family that so much love you, they put in their head. What are you doing to them? Do you love them the way they love you? Do you put them in the in, in your head the way they put it in their head? Do you respect them? Do you know what is respect? Or you disrespect them? You want people to respect you? You are disrespecting everybody that comes to your way. Who are you, by the way, that they must not respect you? After you finish disrespecting everybody. Brothers, sisters, nobody will respect you. Nobody. Until you learn how to respect others, people will respect you also. If you know what they cannot do to you, don't do it to others. That is what this Bible verse is telling us. Hallelujah, somebody. If you don't, if you know that you, you don't want people to hurt you, please don't hurt people. I beg you. It's what you sow, it's what you will reap. If you sow out love, you know how to give it out by encouraging people, by advising people, by doing what is right, by doing what is good to people. Don't always wait for people to be doing it to you alone. This 2024, please learn how to give it out. There is difference between your loved ones, your people, and a stranger. <clears throat> even our Bible even advises us to that extent that treat your stranger well because you don't know who that stranger is. The one that you see your people, you tell them hello. Okay, now me not go tell you hello. Because you get six head, I'll be seven head. I go return it back to you. Hello, too. Hello, God bless you. Hello, God bless you, too. Simple. That is what this Bible verse is telling us. I so much love our, our man. I so much love our, our God. He leave every instruction that we need to follow. He has leave it down for us. It's not for you to choose who you will follow. If you want to follow the instruction, 
he is there looking at you. If you don't want to follow the instruction of God, he is still sit down for where he is looking at you. I beg you all, let every one of us embrace good things. Let us know how to be a lover of good things. Please, if you so much need honor, honor people. It's not a crime. If you honor people, you follow people, you respect people, it's not bad. Don't correct anybody when you have not finished correcting yourself. Correct yourself before you start correcting others. That is what this Bible is telling us. I beg you all, open a new chapter about your life, about your character, before you start lamenting, before you start complaining. Don't complain when you don't know how to give the give anything out. Don't complain. I beg you all. If you know how to do gra 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 gra, people go gra gra to you also. You don't get for hey, forget that thing. People go still gra 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 to you. I beg you. Stop it. God bless you. I love you all. Mwah.